Oh, Brown trying to surrender too. Oh. <laughs> well, hi everyone. Oh, crap. we're back for the next episode, and uh, as you just heard there, Brown is trying to surrender to Jake, <laughs> and Jake is under attack from something. What is going on, Jake? Well, let me show you. Santa, Santa's not happy. Oh, oh frick. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, heck. <laughs> that, that is a lot of arms. <laughs> we're not even, we're barely 30 seconds in and I already have my episode title. You just made that really easy. <laughs> my gosh. But yeah, well, here's the, the question. Uh, do I, uh, do I even bother? Uh, I mean, you could probably take out some of the units on the right side. Yeah, I mean, you got a Manticore Rider in there, so you'll be able to do some those, damage. Those are some squishy units on the right. Yeah, go down to those the three that are by themselves down there and just ruin their day. You okay, might so actually, that's you could even kill it to the left for me. Oh, no, okay. your camera <laughs> perspective is different. So, there's, <sighs> there's also two oh. heroes down there you might be able to kill. You could maybe try to kill the heroes. This is a hard call with Age of Death up. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Well, no matter what happens, we won't up with more units than we had to kill in the first place. And honestly, I kind of think, I, I kind of would rather they belong to brown than red anyways, so. Yeah, I would kill just as many as I can? Kill as many as you can. Because at least with brown, they're ghouls, and I can do a lot more damage to them. And we're getting really close, I think, to Brown's capital, so they're going to end up being independents real fast. Need to do some scouting and figure out where that is. And send some birds into the air. Try to get through all of Red's front line. Do you have any guess as to whether it's above or underground? I don't know. He is a dwarf, so could be underground. Hmm. I'm hoping it's the city immediately to our west underground, but... We'll have to find. We'll have to see. And his king is most likely back already, right? Because it's one turn. Yeah, it should. He probably has that by now. Yes. Let your defense down in front of a manacle rider. Wow. Oh, yeah, that, that hero. Stun. Oh. That hero just ran out. Like. Arius the Alert is just begging to be killed. Although, the Alert, I wonder if he's got Vigilant. He does. He has total awareness. So unfortunately, you can't flank them, the Tigran hero there, but you can still probably kill him. Oh, he's not going to like this. Oh! Mm. Nope, nope, didn't like that at all. Taking on all those support units that have inflict stun is going to be useful. Oh, your units have Hero Slayer, that's nice. Things just get stunned now. Well, I was not expecting the monkey to come web you. No. On the bright side, you're also forcing him to use up some casting points with this too, so... Not that that's gonna affect the uh, sorcerer very much. Oh, man. At this point, I think you just kill what you can and then surrender so he doesn't get any more XP.
Was this the army that I was just... Yeah, this was the one that was near me. Oh my. <laughs> that <laughs> is a lot of most... Something. <laughs> that is a lot of mostly dead stuff. <laughs> Wait, what just happened? I cast Earthquake. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, hey. if... If you still have eyesight, line of sight on some of these armies, I could probably kill one off, like, Wrath of God, <laughs> following that up. Because a lot of them are really weak now. I know. Actually, we should, because I've got stuff close by. I think. So as long as... It's... Although, if I do that, it's going to take casting points off of Greater Junction, so maybe I shouldn't do that. They can't heal, so it doesn't really matter either way. Yeah. Whoever, whoever fights them next is just going to have an army of mostly dead enemies to kill off. And if Jake fights them again, oh, has of course I would points that. Still, you could just hit him with it again. <laughs> so that's actually another benefit to fighting this out, is since they can't heal, it's actually helping us out in the future. Yep. I didn't even think about that. They're not going to be able Man, to finish that you elder. this turn. Mm -hmm. That elder did some work. <laughs> he's, he's been around for a while. Yeah, thanks to that earthquake, Jake. Should be able to mop this up pretty easily. <laughs> I'd laugh if you have enough casting points to do it again. Oh my god, I'm 10 off. If I oh, could. Dang. If I could, I could deal a ton of damage. You could kill half this army. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so you managed to kill both the heroes? I see one of them down. I don't see the other one up anywhere. Mm, I did, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Huh. Nice. Well, either kill something or injure something since the Armageddon heal prevention. Oh, no, I think there's... There's... No, those are just uh, Pony Riders. <laughs> Squeak. Did, they did a good job. They did do a good job. They will be avenged. They drew the army into an earthquake. It was perfect. Oh, strategy. wait. That wasn't the army, the group that I was thinking it was. Where did that happen? Brown got, Brown got some. Oh. It's dead south, so we're going to head dead south. Yeah, Let's I go. see that. Take a pit stop to see what's in here. There are no Dread Reapers. Easy. Do I want Bard Skills? I don't know what. I'm gonna take that. Yeah, that's probably better. We're just going to be trading cities with these guys for a while. That's fair. I 
And the only downside is we get morale penalties for losing cities, right? Yeah. I don't really care though, so if we yeah, tried to make it go. so that it's my <laughs> cities that we lose. Yeah, that's part of the reason why I'm vassaling cities. I don't think you get morale penalties for losing a vassal city. I wouldn't think so, no, since you really have no control over that. Oh, this is that one. Okay, I was gonna say, this looks oddly familiar. Yep, this is the I one you asked for help with. I didn't realize I was in here. Okay. I'm gonna go smack this blight on him, since I don't care about blight. Hi, look, squishy goblins. Mm -hmm. Nope, wants to go after the mana cores. It's a fight he's welcome to pick. Mm hmm. Oh wow, yeah. This is poor. We might need to follow up on this because freaking Brown is probably going to get all these LNA. Oh, true. So we'll have to we'll have to do take two on this one. <laughs> I love my manacle riders. <laughs> did he get him? No, he did not. Okay, good. Cool. Saves us a little time. Get more casting points now. Awesome. Thank you, Jake. There's actually teal below us with a shock trooper. Can we get down to him? Nope, not quite. Oh, uh, I know. I'll just go back and hold up in my city. It's just a shock trooper, unless there's something else hiding. Do you want that spring of life cleared as well? Uh, sure. I'll always take things. Why is this eagle so unhappy? I thought I had one with the elements up. Age of Deception's back up, guys. Well, I think that's priority. <laughs> yep. Well, I'm gonna finish <sighs> casting. I'm just gonna finish disjuncting the one I'm already disjuncting. I don't feel like I can move forward in these circumstances, not with morale really down. Well, should I, uh, or, or, or should we reevaluate the no surrenders thing <sighs> just to speed the game along? You know what? That's up to you guys, I think. I'm going to leave that in your up to you because you guys are the ones who are helping me out with a very long series. So, <laughs> Well, here's, here's the thing. If you take Brown, then you can reallocate your disjunction to Wage of Deception right now. Because right now right. you're disjuncting a stupid spell on a guy who's given up. I'm actually right. changing what I'm disjuncting already anyway, because I haven't invested casting points into it already. So I'm just... That's, that's kind of where I'm at. It's like at this point we're spending time on something that really yes. is just an annoyance and isn't going to essentially turn the tide of this game at all, really. Well, it might. It's just being irritating with us. It's just... Like, Brown is just going to delay us returns. We could just theoretically ignore his spell altogether, and if we kill him fast enough anyways, but... I'll tell you what, we'll do it this way. I'm not going to accept any surrenders, but if you guys want to, do whatever you want. And then we'll just... We'll just go with that. I say take give... the brown one this it, time. It this is the second time he's offered. Yeah, I, I agree. We'll just go ahead and take it. It will give you some extra units when you take it, although they might be useless to you because, well, kind of useless. They'll all be ghouls, probably. But I mean, if he has... Yeah, well, that's true. They're all going to hate me because I, I'm i dedicated to good, so he's probably got some stuff that's going to hate me. Yeah, we'll just take it, just to speed this game along a bit. If you're worried about balance, you could just disband any units he gives you for... Surrendering. I'm rather curious as to how Red thought this was a good fight to pick. <laughs> I don't know. I'm almost tempted to just run everybody out. Well, 
Agent Deception is going to be a problem. It will always be a problem from here until the end of time, as long as this game exists. Or until we knock out the rogue. <laughs> yeah, that too. That would be great. Rogue is uh -huh. still my number one nice target. Despite the dang Dreadnought being a pain. We can handle the Dreadnought. Age of Deception can wreck the entire game. Yeah, I just noticed my eagle was really cranky, and it was in volcanic terrain, but it, it shouldn't be cranky with one of the elements, so... That guy is super guarded by flames. Ah, I survived. He was immune to fire in the first place, I think. <laughs> Just for the healing, pretty much. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, some explosive dwarves on our hands, guys. Gotcha. Wonder if they all have that. Nope, not all of them. I think the one that's got Guardian Flames does. No, he they doesn't either. really hate that spell, don't they? Mm-hmm. Aw, oh, you stunned somebody. And killed a resurging. It's very shameful. Oh. <laughs> Ow. That looked painful. <laughs> Poor unranked ex exalted is just getting smushed everywhere. Santa all of a sudden just showing up and causing a bunch of mayhem. Woo! <laughs> he was pretty quiet there for a while. <clears throat> okay. And they're all browns units. Uh, just take it. Go ahead, let's attack us out of here. Yeah, let's, let's get... Take a surrender, get him out of here. Alright, that'll speed this along a bit. Oh my lord, this... okay. <laughs> Assu assuming we don't crash. Okay, okay, we're good. This will take a bit. Don't Still loading. Alright, there we go. Don't forget Hi. to redirect your disjunction towards 
Age of Deception. Right. Okay, so Brown has. He tried to surrender once before. Cool. We said no. Look where his capital was. Again and... <laughs> it would have fallen in two turns, anyways. Where? It's it's the one exactly southwest of the city we just had that fight in. <sighs> underground or above ground? Yeah, underground. It would have fallen very fast, anyways. Oh, is that where its capital was? Mm -mm, that's the city it gave me, anyways. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, we were right there. <laughs> yeah, take it. Okay, well that doesn't change what things a... that much anyway. No, it just saves us a turn or two. A turn or two of irritating respawning hey. units. Okay, hey, so there is nothing in this because it's capital city. It's kind of useless. So. I put a dwarven city in here. It doesn't get like bonuses to magma forge, right? That's a race governments thing. Uh, <laughs> you, or a dreadnought. Draconians thing. can get bonuses from magma okay. forges, I think. Uh, the dwarves comes from mines. Make it a a dwarven, anyways. Oh, I got a bunch of undead units that are actually perfectly happy with me so far. I think these guys are going to go north, like way north. I wish I knew what was in this city. Let's take a peek. One juggernaut. Not entirely sure if splitting up is a good idea here or not, but I think I'm going to try it. Oh, and Jake's got more mana core riders coming too, so I'll be fine. We have got to get that Age of Deception out. <laughs> I basically just had to cancel all current Manicore Rider production. Because I instantly went to like negative 600 gold. Oh, heck. Yeah, it was not pretty. Well, I'm, I got two turns to do that, so... Jake, you see the Manticore Riders, or the the ones that you have near in Indrasi? Um, they're crossing over where my Yeti was walking and spreading snow everywhere. Oh, let's. No. <laughs> uh, they're near where the massive horde of stuff that we had was. Kind of close to where your stack of six Earth Elementals is. They're a little northeast of that. Okay. Okay, yeah, them? Yeah. That group, could you have them? You see straight west of them, there's a stack. I've got a Yeti and yep. then a bunch of archers. Oh, that? Yeah. Have them go help those guys. That's a bunch of you squishy. Storm range. Sisters? Yeah, Storm Sisters. And then okay. Yeti and, Ar yeah, and then a lot of archers, too. Have them go help those guys. All right, they'll move in that direction. Meanwhile, I'm going to have that Yeti not be in that group because he's just going to make your Draconians upset. I'll have him go up with these other guys. And then we can have... I got a bunch of good range, and then you guys will fill out the melee component that I need. You want my stack to go up there as well? Uh, I think that stack you have would be okay following the big group because once okay. we go southwest, past, once we get past Yermiz or whatever, we're going to need to split off in multiple directions. Some will need to go southwest, some will need to go straight west. 
So we'll need extras in this area, basically. Sounds good. I'm just gonna keep those units on hold until your until your guys get here, Jake. Okay. Um, I'm not really pushing anything until Age of Deception is disjuncted again. No. Well, I might, I might still do this one. Ah, yeah, this one should be fine. I've only got two that are slightly displeased at the moment, so... Nice thing about being a warlord, you just don't have to worry about it quite as much. Uh, I still do, but yeah, not as much. It hurts your Rude. economy pretty bad. Rather surprised that cannon didn't tr try to f feed your uh, draconian elder that cannonball. Youch. <laughs> Dwarf shielders. Get no love. Well, none of the non-pointy kind, anyways. <laughs> right. Hold on. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Nope. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize that was a hero. I was thinking that was just a vampire yeah. spider. Mm mm, hero. Okay. Too late for that to mean anything now. Could have yeah. killed the elder if he'd have cannoned it first round. Go deal with you. You are broken. You uh to end my turn. Uh, I do this. <laughs> I'm sure he appreciates that after having taken I a cannonball to the face. <laughs> uh, sir, I think I have a battlefield injury. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. There's a uh, there's a two foot hole in the middle of your chest here. Let me fix that up. <laughs> um. So this new city I took, it's got this really annoying box that I want to get rid of. Can I do it? No. <laughs> Not unless you want to make this game last even longer. <laughs> but it's right there. It's like two spaces away. I can just drop the box. And, <laughs> and then we can have an extra three episodes dealing with all the crap that comes out of it. <laughs> Longing. Let's go see if those uh, undead units that Brown just left at that city underground, if they would just join me if I talk to them. Were, were they were they up for it? No, it was just a fight.
Eventually I'll get down to the heart of the blight. <laughs> One, One of the cities days. we took down south a few turns ago had a, um... Oh, uh, what the is that called? Ziggurat? Already yeah. built in it? So, I've been one turning firstborns out of that city. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot about this group of elementals I had down in the underground. I just so, summoned them down here to have some fun. So now our southern uh, army is about to be reinforced by three more firstborns. I've got one elemental for each of you. <laughs> Bob's taking back all the cities I lost because I took them and just moved on. <laughs> yeah. I think that's what these guys are going to do is just clean up stragglers. So many guns. Keep <laughs> and <shooting>. rock. <laughs> Keep shooting. He just throw a rock at a rock. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes me a bigger rock. <laughs> so much reading. I think they could even damage me faster than I heal. Not with a one turn reload. Definitely not with a one turn reload. was fun. You, you get to be a vassal. Pretty much all these cities are going to be vassals. <laughs> On to the next one! I mean, it is nice. In one turn, I produce six mana core writers. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty nice. <laughs> But, the economy was not real pleased with me. Alright, I'm actually at the end of my turn. Since I'm not moving anybody up quite yet. How many turns before you can disjunct Age of Deception, Dan? Two. Okay. So if I fail next turn, you'll have a shot on it at the turn after that. That'll be good. That's what happened. They disjuncted my Conqueror's Feast. Uh, so I just murdered two Griffin Riders with a stack of Browns units. <laughs> Those Griffin Riders are now mine. <laughs> Wait. Wait, what? I th oh, did I, th they... I think I think Age of Death is still active this round, <laughs> so it's giving me the units. I can't think of any other way I got those two units. Did you have a... The, do you have Brown's leader oh, in there? Death, no, there yeah, were Deathbringers. Yeah. There were Deathbringers in ah, there. That's, that's probably why. Yep. An ah, inflicted ghoul curse. Would okay. Be, would be hilarious say, if it was the other thing. I was going to say, did I just find a bug? No way. Okay. Would, be, would be absolutely hilarious if it was the other thing, but probably not. <laughs> this game's been out for so long and nobody's found that bug. Yeah, probably. Anyone else see that lone blue unit running around? It's like a random shock trooper just in the middle of a bunch of our I stuff buy, in the south. By my city, yeah. Yeah, Zwug and Peston. Yeah, yeah, we know. Okay. Okay, Jake can handle that. Yeah. Some uh, hungry manacores looking for some orc meat, apparently. 
Okay. Yep. This. I'm normally the one slowing everything up, so it's nice to be able to just pan around the map and see what's going <laughs> on everywhere. Friends all gonna spread out too. Jake, I appreciate your dedication to naming your cities. Oh my gosh, I'm almost out. Like, I'm <laughs> going to the most obscure <laughs> references of Bahamut. Like, you wouldn't believe where I'm pulling some of these names. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that lone blue unit there is the only little thing I see that could be behind our lines. Santa is just... Santa is in the most annoying spot. Like, just a massive nuisance. I think that army there that came and attacked you is the one that was getting ready to cross the water and go after me and then for some reason just changed his mind. Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> I wish that I could just move a unit over items and sell them without having to send them to a hero first. We ready? You gotta say when you're done, because I'm just naming cities at this point. Oh, we're, we're ready. <laughs> I'm not yeah. doing anything yeah, actually good. important okay. here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm just... I'm gonna try to disjunct this real fast. Uh-oh. Did I get it all? I didn't open a box, I swear. It was not me. It's just happening on its own. Oh, that that can happen. <laughs> Transit of the Great Wolf. Wild animals. Okay, so uh Penguins. Defend your cities. <laughs> defend your cities probably. Okay, I was not successful in disjuncting Age of Deception. Oh, okay. Alright, I'll try next turn. You need to get that because I'm gonna lose a city in five turns. I will keep putting resources into that until it's gone. Even if it wastes them on the next turn. Its integrity is now at 61 and my chance of disjuncting should be 95%. Oh. Red's showing up to uh, Blue's old city now too. I kind of figured he would. How is red all over the dang map? He must he must have the entire know. economy of the enemy team. Oh, so, Jake. Gosh. Your cities are not happy and uh, I oh, just got Oh, bloody. I just You got ready, a... Bob? Uh okay. Here we go. Jake, one of your cities is at Oh. <laughs> oh my. That's a lot of cannons. Oh, we didn't have full walls in this city. No, I wasn't ready for this. The walls are... Yeah, there's, there's no walls. <laughs> um, Just so you know, one of your cities is asking me to liberate them from you. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, let me go. Summoner? Uh, Lu 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 Lucas or something like that. Lucis. Lucis, yeah. That yeah, one didn't that say one. that one was rebelling. Dang it. They're not happy. Go near that. Well, you know what? Maybe if they hadn't rushed the story to the end of 15, they'd be more happy. <laughs> or, you know, cancel all the future DLC that's supposed to fix. I'm, Sorry. I'm gonna, Square rant. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and use some spells in this one. You're going to want to. Dan, that's a lot of yeah. cannons. Dan should be able to disjunct Age of Deception, but even if he can't, I should be able to get it within one turn of him trying okay. to do it. So, uh, I don't know what I want to cast, though. Probably Beast Horde, but I can't. So I'm going to go with Arachnid Horde. I really just okay, want to well. cast Earthquake. <laughs> that spider's got it. It's fine. Yeah, that would... That would the city would not like that very much. I don't care. <laughs> I really want to cast Earthquake that would do a ton of damage and it would do zero damage to any of my units because they're flying. <laughs> it would, uh, my, my hunters would not appreciate I it. I know, your hunters would all die. <laughs> so that's <laughs> why I'm not going to do it. 
Like, it would Oko all of them. <laughs> um... <clears throat> so... I'd send some Mana Core Riders off to the flanks, just see if we can pull some units off from the center. Now you can kind of like hop off. over the walls a few times. Do that. The AI freak out. Could you put some of them in front of my hunters? Well, I was going to. to send two off this way. Here, here, and we'll just hop to here. <laughs> Very defensive positioning you got there. Yeah, Guard that's what I thought. Guarding the gate. Oh, oh no! no. Hey, at least they wasted time killing that spider. That was not worth 80 CP, though. Uh. Well, on the bright side is uh, Bob's archers are all squishy, so once they get done with their thing and get murdered, earthquake away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not a bright side. <laughs> Well, they pretty much cannons have pretty much all done their thing, I guess. So for this mm -hmm. turn, so I've got a little bit of room to run out and shoot stuff. Oh, come on! You need to just die, please. There, it helped. <laughs> <laughs> and incoming mortar. <laughs> well, crap. <laughs> I didn't see him back there. <laughs> Juggernaut's gonna land a mortar right in the middle of all those guys. Unless maybe Jake can get his uh, Manicore Riders to it first. Ooh, that would be sacrificing those two mana core riders, but I can. Hmm. I don't know if they die if you left them on defense. No, they're not staying on defense. Ha! Yeah, it's on fire. That helps. Okay, explosive stuff. Unicorn won't blow up. That's Either the last thing this world spell. needs is exploding unicorns. Oh, we already have unstable unicorns. Morale in me, please. Ow! Well, they didn't get mortared, but they did get barbecued. Yep. <laughs> You still got three left, and your bird's still alive. <clears throat> I'm going to kill this tank or this cannon. So oh. your Manicor Rider can go after the other one that ran further away. Can you snipe that flame tank? I can. That, that would be great to get rid of him. Get the other cannon. <clears throat> and you are going to sacrifice yourself to try to protect the hunters. <laughs> Hmm. 
That is perfect. Oh. Watch that Destroy. cannon, ignore your mana core rider, move around it, and just wreck the two hunters that are lined up. Oh, it probably will. It likes doing it. Although, theoretically, it should take, what, two hits doing that? It should. If it did, I think it'll just straight up die. Yeah, you're probably right. I think I'm okay there. <laughs> yeah, against a Dreadnought, I think I would rather have regular yes, elf gone. archers than hunters, because at least they have armor. Hmm. They dazed one of them. <clears throat> Oh, shield of light. Oh. Oh, well, it was a worthy sacrifice. How? Well, they got one, not the two. But? Still alive, Bob. Since the cannon has to reload, I think your archers can hunt that down okay, Bob? Yep. Yeah. So you, Jake can go after the trib. Get that trip to face. Oh, no, I just can't make it. Oh, you're dead. Yeah. The attack opportunity got you. I'm still going after it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's still another cannon up there, too, that needs tending to. Killed one. You did not go nearly far enough away, my friend. <coughs> nice. Um, I'm just going to stay away <laughs> now. You don't want to take another Coward. cannon shell? No. <laughs> he, just he just survived one. That depends. That thing's pretty happy. It could critical. Oh, uh, that's true. Well, it's dead now. <laughs> 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 Yeah. How'd these guys sneak up on us? I didn't even see him coming. Well, I guess I didn't he might see have him coming. In. Oh he... well. crap! Oh well, he just defended. He's dead. Yeah, he has great he, mobilization on. Probably. Uh, no, because they all have way too much health. Oh, does that and... sacrifice their? Uh... Oh no, that's the no, side. No, it doesn't. Now. Um, but it only works on machines, if I remember. Right. Mm, we're in meat. You have no. Oh, you do have. Bastards. <sighs> well, Jake, I'm glad your Manticore riders were around. Yeah, they're very powerful. Gotcha. Because we killed more of them than they killed of us. That was two full stacks. That was two full stacks. Looks like you've got a bit of a break, too. <laughs> I'm glad that you talked me into keeping them there, too. Yeah. So, that was <laughs> so, Oh, girl. I'd be going after that. What is that helmet? Strong will and vision range. Okay. I'm expecting uh, to be jumped. I just hope it's blue and red independently and not together. Hey, Bob, you remember those, that group that came after us? Or that destroyed my stuff at the beginning? I want to uh, go after it now. As I see, I only see group? two. Yeah, I only see two of them down there now. I don't know. I wonder where the others went. Maybe they... Maybe don't they know. Southeast going after me. I don't know. 
Oh, oh, they're running. Oh, they're running. Wait, hang on. Oh, no, no, gone. No. Well, I guess we have a decision. Do we let them go? I mean, they could just come back. I am going to go after. Oh man, I don't know. That's not a good army to go after Santa with, because his whole his electric damage will be really bad for my elementals. I'm a lot better off fighting the warlord. Well, I'm gonna have to go after him with, the, with the elementals eventually anyway, though. That's really the only thing I can make down there. I'm gonna go fight Santa. You're welcome to join if you would like to uh, <clears throat> Of course I'm coming. They took out one of my very powerful stacks. I'm not happy about it. I can move that snakes a little further. Yeah, they're going... They're going east. They're trying to go after my uh, archers and giants. Which, that won't be a very easy city for them to take. I'm gonna move in. Trids? Oh my lord. Uh, well, uh -oh. the, the north has become a problem. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, there is just red and blue everywhere. Oh heck! <laughs> Where is. And your units are all really cranky. Mm -hmm, Where was the yeah. cave entrance you popped out of there? North. I don't suppose you could make a run for it. Oh, I could, yeah. I mean, that might be... I'll, yeah. I'll do once red and blue have done moving. I'll start moving that way. Yeah, I would highly suggest in the just of it. GTFO. That's... Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting the hell out of here. That's getting a little crazy. I still have use for stone giants, so I guess I'll make some more. You, sir, are needed down here. Pull back, get my reinforcements, and reapproach, because this is a lot of cannons and red units. <laughs> back. I'm going to decline to liberate your city. I appreciate that. <laughs> you get rid of that spell and it'll all be good. Yeah, it'd be nice to have all my gold income back. I didn't, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize blue had vassal cities just scattered in the middle of everything. Wasn't really paying that close attention down there. Okay, they are all done. So you can move there, and you can move there, and you can. Okay. <clears throat> oh hell! Now what? My retreat path is cut off. Uh oh. By blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna have to fight your way out, Dan. Gonna... <laughs> oh man. Guys, I think things are going south real fast here. Uh well in the open field I think you'll be okay. I mean I mean I have enough I have enough health built up, I've regenerated pretty much everything. Oh, I just noticed they had Dread Siege on that city, too, so you're going to really upset staying in there. It's yeah. Probably good they got out anyway. I toggled releases Vassal. It's not going to be triggered in time, but... <clears throat> you will return my city. Brown took the city. <laughs> and then it went, new went Vassal. And guess who Vassaled it? Blue. One of the blues. Mm -hmm. 
so I need to reclaim my city. That's why I didn't notice it before. I think we're going the right direction, though. I think we just need to just keep going like this and spread the enemy, the uh, CPU units all over the map as mm -hmm. best as we can. <clears throat> that yeah. way, if they don't all clump up and just cause a major problem for us. Yeah, just, just keeping them in smaller groups. I mean, the, the computer is not very good about the broader strategy. They kind of just throw stuff at you. So if you can keep them sort of confused and off balance, it really helps a lot. Honestly, I think your little uh, your little stunt over there in the northwest did us a lot more good than we might even realize. Because we were about to get swarmed in the north. Yeah, I think so. Pulled everything back. They went into panic mode. I wonder why that flame tank didn't flame. Oh, because the only unit could hit was immune to fire. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. Run, my firstborn, run! Ooh, good choice <laughs> for haste. <laughs> Do your thing! As people look out the window of their tank and see a dwarf running at them at like 60 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> With a giant flaming hammer. Uh, sir, sir, we have a problem! <laughs> Yeah, I think this battle is actually going to go more, even more poorly for them than the last one did, just because they... I think it's easier to fight the Dreadnought out in the open like this. It's easier to just swarm him, get in his face. Tank just ran right over to where your Titan is, didn't it? It did. It tickled. <laughs> Yeah, good choice. Go with the guy that can weaken it first. <laughs> yes, that was totally planned. <laughs> <laughs> Side, which is fine. They broadside because that hurts allies. Yep. So they'll probably not side, which is also fine.
Hmm. Nice. Hey, there you go. No, you're just gonna stay in the <laughs> Actually, no, I'll bring him out of the corner. There's not enough on this side to really be for it. It tickles. You were tearing these guys apart. All this healing definitely helps. Yeah, that Storm Sister you have down there is just the perfect addition to your army here. Because she can heal and stun stuff. And that Titan, well, he's just along for a ride ride that he didn't want. <laughs> I'm just imagining your crusaders just leading him around in chains telling him, you know, go attack that. You don't want to. You do it or we poke you with our holy swords. Okay, fine. <laughs> oh, the white witch is already dead. Okay. Forgot to guys up. How did that crusader get frozen? Is that the frost the tank ice that tank. did that? Yeah, the frost tank. Got I him. did not realize that could actually inflict freezing. That's really pretty good. Okay. Yeah, now it's just uh now it's just a flame tank. Yep. Which, yeah. <laughs> isn't gonna be much problem. You know what guys? Yeah. It is uh I think it's time to end this episode. I was gonna say it's gotta be getting close. Yep, we're <laughs> at uh, an hour and three minutes, so let's go ahead and wrap this one up. Alright everyone, well thanks so much for watching. Keep in mind there's gonna be at least four more episodes coming out before I'm checking the comments. So if your comment's specific to this episode, then by all means go ahead and leave it below. Um, if it's something that's still developing, we might get to it sometime in the next four episodes. But either way, thanks for watching. We're gonna go ahead and record uh, I think two more right after this one, and then two more on Tuesday. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one.